Welcome to today's Whiteboard Wednesday. I am Pushkar Patwardhan, DSP Software Architect at Cadence. And today, we are going to talk about floating point support in Tensilica DSPs. In, in a previous video, we looked at the application space uh, and the algorithms in each application space which require floating point uh, computations. So today, let's look at each of the application spaces and the 10 silica DSPs with floating point support uh, targeted for the application space areas. We will focus on 32-bit floating point, the single precision floating point, though the DSPs that we mentioned here also support double precision. But for today, let's focus on this chart on single precision floating point. And when we consider a DSP, we look at a few things in terms of the floating point support. One is the flops per cycle for the 32-bit single precision floating point operations. And here, by flops, uh, we, we will count uh, an add or a subtract or a multiply as each, as one flop each. So that's how we count flops. We will look at the vector SIMD width for the 32-bit floating point support on each of the DSPs. And we'll look at the number of slots in, in VLIW uh, DSP, the number of slots which schedule floating point operations. So we'll look at each of these things for, for the DSPs. For, for mobile and variables, the extensor controller can be enabled to have an optional floating point support to do two flops per cycle with a with a SIMD of one, that is, it's a one-way, a scalar a machine, and with one slot for the floating point operations. Then there is the Fusion F1 DSP, which also does two flops, one way, and one slot for floating point operations. The the difference between Fusion F1 and Extensa is that the Fusion F1 also has extensive fixed point support for 16-bit uh, multiplies and ALU and 32-bit multiplies and ALU uh, and a SIMD support for the fixed point. But in terms of the floating point support, they, they have the same capability. For audio and speech in the Hi-Fi family, there is the Hi-Fi 3 and the Hi-Fi 4, both of which have floating point support. Hi-Fi 3 is four flops per cycle. Hi-Fi 4 is eight flops per cycle. It has a SIMD. Both of them have SIMDs of two way. And one slot for the Hi-Fi 3 and two slots for the floating point operations for the Hi-Fi 4. For radar uh, and general DSP, the fusion G3 DSP has floating point support. It can do 16 flops per cycle, a SIMD of four way, and it has two VLIW slots for scheduling floating point operations. For wireless communications, the BBE family, the BBE 16, the BBE 32, and the BBE 64. So these, in terms of flops per cycle, the BB16, the 16 flops per cycle, 32 for the BB32EP, and 64 flops per cycle for the BB64. The 16EP is a four-way machine for 32-bit for floating point. The 32EP is an eight-way, and the 64 is 16-way. And each of these schedule their floating point operations in two slots. And for the vision application space, the Vision P5 and the Vision P6 DSPs, both of them do 32 flops per cycle. Both of them are 16-way SIMD for the 32-bit floating point operations, and both of them schedule uh, the floating point operations in one slot. So this is the range of 10 silica DSPs with floating point support 
and with their capabilities in terms of flops per cycle, uh, their SIMD and VLIW. So with, with this range of TSPs, uh, different needs for different application spaces in terms of uh, the compute capability is served by the entire family starting from low to moderate end capabilities to, to high end floating point capabilities for the wireless communications and vision space. So this was an overview of the family of 10 silica DSPs with floating point support. Thanks for watching. See you next time.